boom, 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 boom. Am I nose bleeding again? I hope not. Oh, hi, Mama. Hello, hello. I don't know if anyone's actually gonna even see this. This is impromptu. Bum, 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 bum. I'm a bum. Bum, 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 bum. Come here, come here, come on, come on. Hey! Oh! Little Miss Molly Goo. You wanna say hi? Say hi. <laughs> Not you. You. Mm -hmm. See, hello, 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 hello. Mocha, shh, you're very loud. You're a loud boy. No, no, no. <laughs> hello, hi. I don't know how well this is going to work. I figured I would just go live on a very impromptu live. So I don't know if that means anyone's actually going to see it, but... <laughs> Say hello! Hello! Hi! Hi there! Oh, stop it! You stop it! Whoa, there's another mic! Ow, Charlie! You're oh my god! Okay, okay, okay! No, no, no! No, no, no! Jesus! We got a lively bunch inside this room. Yeah, I don't ever go live on YouTube anymore. I used to go live all the time, I think. But I haven't done so in like, I don't even know how long. It's been a hell of a long time. It's just weird seeing another mic and having to say mic. It's weird. It makes me feel weird. <laughs> Feels like I'm talking to myself. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Jar Charles. Ugh. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Come here. Come here. Come on. Okay, okay that's a Riley. Okay. We got a Riley. We go to Charlie. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello, you big silly dork. Mm. Hi, Riley. Hi, Char Char. Oh my gosh, you're going crazy. You're going crazy. You're full wackadoo. Hop down, hop down. Come on, hop down. Woo! Ugh. Got the whole crew. <laughs> Charlie, hey, stop it. Stop it. Leave her alone. She doesn't like it. How many dogs do I have? Uh, one, two, three, four, seventeen thousand. 17,000. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> See, you took my name, even though you're older. Oh. <laughs> the Lester Street. Oh, I did cover that one on TikTok, right? I think. I think I covered that one on TikTok. Yes, Charlie, I see you, you freak do. <laughs> I know you are here, Mr. Charlie. I know you exist. <sighs> this dog is freaking out. Stop. You're being a freakazoid, Mr. Charles. You're being a freakazoid! A freakazoid! <laughs> God dang it. What are you doing, you wacko? <laughs> uh, Charlie's just rubbing himself all over the ground now. This, he's unwell. <laughs> uh, what day is it? It's Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday. A Wednesday. What do you got there? You got a chewed up snowman toy. What? Come here. You want to show people? No? Okay. You're just going to be weird. You're just going to be a weirdo? Ah! <laughs> See, look, I got a snowman toys. <laughs> Uh. Oh, you got this shirt too? <laughs> nice. Cuckoo, cuckoo, wackadoo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Listen, sir. <laughs> all right, all right, you psychos. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> Hello, I'm doing good. Uh, how are you? I'm in a very loud space. O M to the G. You stop it. You stop it right now. No. No. My cats are very loud. <laughs> Uh, very loud cats. Oh, God, Jesus, scared the bejesus out of me. Would you stop it? <sighs> Hi, Mishka, Misha. Yeah, I see you, you guys are all so needy. No, don't you do it, don't you do it. Do this freaking dog. When I click your link tree, it says this page does not exist. How do I get to that page? Oh, shoot. I probably need to change that. I think I changed the username. I'll have to do that later. Boom, 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 boom. Change. On the Z YouTubes. Need to change. You have cats barking. I have a little kitten tacking my 10 year old cat. Oh. Hello in Brazil. Eileen Warnos. That's the name. Uh, didn't think you were still with us. I guess they executed Eileen and she uh, moved to Brazil. Yes, Charlie. I see your, your, big, your, big, your big butt. Charlie, your tail is destroying everything. Ugh. <coughs> Charles, your tail is whacking all the other little dogs. You're going crazy, dude. <laughs> you've gone full, you've gone full wackadoo mode. Look at your tail's whacking Roxy, stop it. So you stop being happy. No, now you're pissing off Molly. Charlie, you are being a very misbehaving boy. No, no, stop that. I swear to God. Is this, is this what it's like to have kids? Because that's a pass for me. Jesus. Uh, where is Side Eye? She's around here somewhere. She was up here at first. Charlie needs, needs more screen time. Apparently, he needs, he needs something because he is... He's just going cuckoo kachu in here. Is exactly my kids for real. Great. Ugh. What's up, Sprite? Boop, 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 boop. Char, char, Charlie boy, Charlie boy. Charlie, Charlie. You wanna come here? You wanna come here? Come here. Come on. Say hi. Say hi, Charlie's face. Nope. If you don't want to anymore, okay. No, I don't want to see your butt. Some kids usually have Legos these stuff. Well, with Charlie, I have tennis balls all over the house that someone's going to roll over and break their neck on. <laughs> uh, not much is new with me. I just thought I would do a, a quick, like, impromptu live on here because I heard they did, uh, <coughs> oh, Jesus. I heard they do vertical lives now in here instead of the horizontal ones, so I wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, yeah, so it looks just like, uh, a TikTok live. Pretty much. I think. I don't even know. How does this even work? What are options? What are these little buttons on the side? I have filters. What's this? Pop. Oh, that's crush. Glow. Oh, that's not glowing. This is beam. Beaming. Blush. It's just... Um, ooh, noir. Ha! Ah, this is this one's called noir. Matt, see? We gotta rescue a dame, see? Bubbles? Who is this for? Dance party. I'm cross-eyed. Dream. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> so weird. 
Hey everybody, how are you? Hi T Bex, how are you? You're dreaming. Do -do 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 -do. Glamour? No. Eight millimeter. Okay. Documentary. Sepia. Silver screen. Oh, this one. Ah, this one's called Haunt. I don't like. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, we don't need that anymore. Make that one go away. That was fun. What does this do? Oh, sorry, I'm just playing with buttons. I don't know what I'm doing. What's the little calendar thing? Highlight saved to your channel as unlisted video. Oops, did I just highlight, did I just add a video to my thing? By the way, I really appreciate the increase of uploads and the fact that you're up so early in the morning. <laughs> well, I, I scheduled them to be uh, uploaded at midnight my time. Um, I mean, I'm usually up anyway, but yeah, I, uh, I always just, I schedule them to post ahead of time. Like right now I'm uploading Friday's video, uh, which will be posted at midnight Arizona time. That muted me. That doesn't do anything. What does plus do? I could start a poll. What does this do? Live chat, super chat, none, top chat. Wait. Top chat, live chat. All messages are visible. Oops, what did I just do? What does the plus do again? Oh, sorry, start a poll. What's the little, what's this little bag do? Hi, Leslie. Ah, what am I doing? What is this? Stop it. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I haven't, I haven't been on a, a YouTube live stream in a while, so I'm just, mind me as I'm just pressing buttons and seeing things. You didn't post no videos today. I was looking for the, yeah, I did. I posted a video at midnight. Oh, on TikTok, I should probably finish the comment you wrote, wrote you posted. Uh, no, I did not post any true crime stories to TikTok today because, hello, Ambrielle, Ambrielle, hi, heavy metal mama. I did not post any true crime videos to TikTok today because both of my pages are now under the account warning thing, um, and both of my pages I have the the warning that says uh, you are. You are you are running the risk of being permanently banned. Like I've heard that a thousand times before. Uh, so I'm not posting videos on TikTok for a couple of days. Reading is fundamental. You are correct. Always finish the sentence before you answer the question. <laughs> yeah, I posted a worst deaths imaginable video on my secondary page and they told me it was violent and graphic despite me covering up anything that was violent or graphic, which there wasn't any, um, no blood gore or anything. And I appealed it and they got back to me within 30 seconds. They watched the three minute video in 30 seconds, I guess, to determine that it was still violent. And so because of that, I'm now flagged for being permanently banned on both of my accounts. <laughs> So I am uh, definitely taking a, uh, a break from posting videos on TikTok because, yes, TikTok is very sensitive. And uh, I'll just be focusing on posting videos here. And I'll probably, tr I'm going to try to, I can't promise it, but I'm going to try to go live on here uh, more frequently or at all uh, because I haven't been live on here in a very long time. So, yeah. Well, thank you for loving the content. You only do YouTube lives when TikTok is being a shyster. Well, TikTok live has been a shyster for me for a while now. I just always forget about YouTube live. I just never seem to like remember that it's a thing. Are people reporting them or is it automatic? Well, I think the, the video that they flagged me for was not reported. I think it was from their own system. Like their own AI caught it that it was apparently violent. 
Where do you do your research? Uh, it just depends on the story. Uh, sometimes there's a bunch of news stories about, like news articles. They're, uh, what I love the most is when a case has the, like, you can see the legal documents posted and you can actually, like, read the, like, the court synopsis of the whole thing. So I like to use those when, when available. But if it's, like, an unsolved case, they don't have those because it's unsolved, so no one's gone to jail or trial. So the other research is just, like, public information type stuff. I have not been watching the Chad Daybell stuff, no. That case got, just, it was such a, it was so, like, everywhere for so long that I just became so, like, okay, I'm tired of hearing about, you know, the Chad Daybell, Lori Daybell crap. Uh, obviously, they're both horrible monsters and deserve to be gone forever, but... Uh, more games. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll actually probably, when I'm actually doing like a planned live, I'll probably do like a game or something. This was an impromptu live. I didn't like alert you guys about it. So I just wanted to see what everything looked like. And I wanted to see what would happen if I did like a random impromptu live on here. So yeah. Hi, Jade. Thank you. If you're still here, I just read your comment way late. The only thing I've been watching that I was watching recently was the Fallout show. And I haven't really watched anything else. Although today is Wednesday, and so I have to watch Survivor tonight. Yeah, it's a... Uh, the, the Daybell case is just a... Uh, it's so much. For, like, that's one thing, is that it's just so much stuff involved in that. There's so many different, like... Uh, aspects to it not just with the kids but with like the spouses and it's it's there's, there's just so much it's like information overload with that daybell case and we were like bombarded with information for so long about it that at this point i'm like i don't even i don't even care about the trial i mean obviously i hope that chad daybell is put away forever but it's like i don't even care <laughs> i can't i can't i can't watch that that case anymore. I have never heard of Hell Divers before. I'm replaying Fallout 3 right now. The TV show Fallout got me inspired to start playing the games again. I've only played them all like three, four times a piece, you know? The Daybell has been done to nauseam. Yes, it has been. The Daybell case has been covered by like every person. I have, no, I have never covered the Daybell case. And the reason why is because everyone who's in true crime content creating has covered it. So I'm like, I don't, I don't need to add to that list. No, I've never, I've actually never seen Big Brother. The only reality show I watch is Survivor. Uh, I have watched every single episode from all 46 now seasons. I have been watching it since it premiered in, was it 2000 or 2001? I feel like it was 2000. So for over 20 years, I've been watching Survivor. Uh, and I have never missed an episode in my life. And it's a secret dream of mine to go on Survivor, despite me not liking the outside. Or planes, in order to get to whatever island they throw you on. A lot of things I don't like, but I would love to be on the show if they can just teleport me there. Do you think Eight Passengers was heading towards a Daybell like uh, what is Eight Passengers? I don't know if I get that that one that reference. Forty six. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating or being uh, silly. There are literally forty six seasons of Survivor. Uh, it is. This is currently season forty six. I think. Is it 46 or 47? I think it's 46. 46 seasons, 23 years, 24 years. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God only knows how many episodes that is. I've seen them all. Seen them all. Eight Passengers was definitely headed there. Ruby Frankie? 
Frank, Ruby Frank. I do not know that at all. A family vlogger who horrifically abused her kids. She had her kids duct taped up and thought they were possessed. Um, I don't even know if she's on my list. Ruby, is it Frank? Frankie, Frank? Oh, this is like a recent thing, okay. I don't think anyone's actually recommended that. Ruby. Ruby. Now we want rubies. Do you guys remember rubies? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, okay. I won't cover that case though, like now. Oh, it's pronounced Frankie, okay. I don't usually like to cover cases that are like currently happening or are like fresh, you know? I like to make sure a case is typically a case, if it's a murder case where there's like a person's been caught, I like to, uh, I prefer to wait until everything is done. Oh, it's not even a murder. That's not even a murder case. Oh, okay. I know there's other creators who are really good about covering like current events type cases or like that are like following cases as they progress. But I like to make videos with all the information. Uh, I don't like doing like follow ups and, and uh, what's it called? Like part twos. But other creators do a really good job with it. So. Oh, she looks like a, a normal mom. Who is Jody Hildebrandt? Is, it, is she part of that one? Not enough information on newer kids. Yeah, I mean, it's just... So, like, you know, when the Idaho 4 thing was happening, everyone kept, like, bombarding me with, like, cover the Idaho 4, cover the Idaho 4. I'm like, let's, let's first of all wait to see that they actually have caught someone, which eventually they did. And then there's, like, the trial. I like to... I'll cover a case... Once the trial's over with, the person is convicted or not convicted, whatever the case may be, I um, I just I like to present the whole thing. Unless it's a missing person case or obviously unsolved, but if it's a currently happening murder case where there is a suspect and there is a trial, I don't talk about it until it's done. I just, I don't like to have, like, I try not to have, like, uh, stories where the information may change like fluidly change. Ruthann, what's up? <laughs> oh, Jody Hildebrandt is her th her therapist. Okay, so I'm guessing that's interesting. All right. <laughs> it's so weird. Like she just she doesn't look like a monster, but is she one? I'm guessing that by by what you guys are saying, she's awful. What's up, Blaza? What's up? The ceiling, fan, spinning. She's giving cult leader. Well, now that I now that I hear the now that I know what kind of what she is, and I see her photo, because at first I was like, oh, she looks like a normal soccer mom, but now I know that she is a monster. And yeah, she looks like a cult leader. <laughs> and Jody Hildebrandt. They both look like cult leaders. Ugh. Not all monsters look typical. That is accurate. Hi, Irish girl. It's okay. This live was impromptu anyway. The whole beginning of it was just me looking at the camera because no one was here. <laughs> I didn't, uh, like, announce this ahead of time. I will for the next one. I just really wanted to see... Wanted to see the vibes, the vibes of a vertical live on, on the tubal ubles. Because it used to just be horrible. What if I tilt it this way? Does it do anything? Orientation is locked. Oh, sorry about that, YouTube. I apologize. Did not mean to upset you, YouTube application. You kind of yelled at me right there, and that's okay. We all make mistakes, YouTube. Boom, 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 boom. We miss you. Oh yeah, the Discord server. I guess I should probably go back to that sometime. 
Well, we are here now. We are here now. We are here. I'm kind of new to lives, but I'm in the comments sometimes. Yeah, I, uh... I, even when I did live streams on here, like, consistently, from like, at the beginning, I still just never got used to it. I don't know why. I think it was because back then it was only horizontal. But I'm more used to this format because of TikTok, so... I also like that it's less busy in terms of, like, stuff that's all over your screen. Like, on TikTok, there's, like, there's just things everywhere on your screen of, like, buttons and things you can press and do. The only thing I can do on here that's fun is I can I can change the filter. Like this one. Whoa, you guys have been drinking too much, bruh. I'm not moving like this. Your eyes are doing this. I would really love to see the Lindsay Baum case covered, abducted in 2009. Didn't I cover Lindsay Baum? That name sounds so familiar. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, I did a duet. That's right. I did a, uh, I duet someone who covered the case. I think a family member because I, that was, oh, take this off. What are you doing, Mike? Um, I was doing, I was going to be doing like a, a thing where I was duetting loved ones who are talking about their cases on TikTok, but then TikTok, uh, decided that you're not allowed to do duets anymore over a minute. Because if you do them over a minute, they punish you, creators, who are on the um, creator fund or whatever you want to call it. They, they'll, they'll flag you for being unoriginal if you do out a video, and it counts against you. And if you do it five times in a month, they, um, they kick you out of their program. And also, whenever if they flag a video like that, they don't show it to your For You page. And so it doesn't show to anyone. So... I had done a duet of Lindsey Baum's case, but then no one saw it because TikTok won't push it, unfortunately. Which is so it's like it's like we like we as creators understand that we won't make money on duets. That's part of the thing. That's part of the deal. We know that. So why are you still punishing creators? We're not trying to make money off of doing a duet. We're just trying to get the story out, right? But TikTok's like, nope, we're going to punish you anyway. Okay, punish us for using the features on your app. You know, I've heard a lot of horror stories about, you know, the comment sections of, like, YouTube videos and stuff. But I, so far, have really had no issues with YouTube, knock on wood. Um, like, TikTok is just running rampant with issues, and it's such a nightmare over there. But here, I've not had any... I haven't had any issues like that. Like, my videos don't get knocked off. They don't get flagged. They don't get taken down. They don't... They post and they show. And I it is consistently showing to the same few thousand people that normally watch my videos. Uh, the, only, the only people left on TikTok are grifters. And, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of those. A lot of grifters. A lot of uh, beggars on TikTok. And a lot of people selling shit. It's like, I remember QVC back when I was younger, we had the whole QVC channel or uh, the home shopping network. Like, yeah, we had that already on television. I don't need to see it on TikTok. I really hope YouTube never goes down that route of, of the TikTok shop. Um, because that ruined the app. The TikTok shop thing did completely ruined. I know they're making bank off of it, but in terms of like people, just normal people who want to watch content or create normal content, it ruined the app. It's destroyed. I'm so tired of seeing ads and sales things. YouTube is Jim and TikTok is Roy. Is that an office reference? He'll eventually see the light. Yeah, they only care about the money. They only care about they don't even care about the creators, really. I think it's clear they don't care about their creators. They just care about what they're selling. Like, ever since TikTok shop became a, uh, like, a major thing, 
back in like what September ish or so when it really took off. It's been uh, if you don't post if you post videos that don't sh sell something, they don't show your content to anyone. It's like they're punishing creators who just want to create content that isn't selling something. And so hopefully this place never does that. I hope. Mike is Pam. Oh, my. Okay, so I am Pam. Okay. Pam, Pam, Pam. I don't think YouTube would. I really don't. I hope not. I think YouTube kind of already does that with their built-in advertisements. So, like, their, uh, you know, whenever you watch a video, you see ads. I think they've that's the way they do it, which I am fine with that, you know? Because you can always buy, like, the YouTube Premium and not have to see as many ads or any ads. Did, t did YouTube have messaging? Like you can what? Like you can message a like a creator, like you can on TikTok. I don't remember that, but I've also really only been a YouTube person for like two years. You know what YouTube uh, needs to bring back is the ability to block people. You can't block people on here anymore. So if someone leaves a really horrible comment. You can report their comment. You can report their, uh, like, you can say, don't let this person, their comments show on your, you know, videos anymore. But they can still see your your stuff. And they, and they can, like, it's annoying. Like, just let us block someone. Like, if someone's a problem, like, what if they're stalking a creator? Like, we should be able to block that person. But you can't on here anymore. I think you used to be able to. You start work days with my video. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, I got a, a one of my short videos posting tonight at midnight from TikTok. And then on, I'm currently uploading my Friday video as we speak. It is a case of a killer youth pastor. So that's always fun. And as usual, it's taking 400 years. You're on the East Coast and you end your days with my videos. Nice. <laughs> I got peeps everywhere. Hi, Heather. I've, I've actually, I've just now realized that I don't think I've ever seen a live stream show up like on my YouTube feed. How does that even work for you guys? Are you like scrolling through YouTube and, and my th it just pops up, or do you have to like, or you were you notified that I was live and then you just clicked on it? Hi, buddy. I got all my friends and family with you. I don't see your socks, my socks anymore. Oh, do you mean my talks, my TikToks? <laughs> I'm like, I, did I show my socks? <laughs> How's the grass? The, well, the grass is probably going to start dying soon because it's about to be into the 90s and 100s for like the next six months. You got notifications, notifications. Oh, okay. Okay, so I, I figured you meant TikToks, not socks. I'm like, did I have a feet thing going for a while that, I'm not, that I don't remember? Okay, you were scrolling through shorts and it popped up. That's okay. So is that the feed where it's at? Is on the shorts feed? Okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm the weird, I'm the weird socks guy. Don't you guys remember? <laughs> Hello, fellow Arizonian. Yes, we're about to, uh, we're about to start. We're getting started. We're getting started with our uh, no, uh, no, no cool weather for the next six months. <laughs> and no foot fetishes here, please. <laughs> But I'm a subscriber, so maybe that's why they recommended on my feed. That could be a reason why, yeah. 
scrolling through all feeds on my TV app and found you were live. Oh, I'm on your TV right now? The ghost that took your sock off at the hotel. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's right. Oh, you remember that story? Okay. Yeah, the story, that was at the, the Copper Queen. Hello in British Columbia, Canada. Socks, socks, socks. Oh, Heather, you are in Tucson. Okay. I don't know if I've ever really been in Tucson directly. My kids call shorts old people TikTok. <laughs> Oh, well, that's just rude. <laughs> I guess it's kind of like the old TikTok, though, because back in the day, it used to only be 60-second videos, which is what YouTube Shorts does, so. So I guess it is technically old people TikTok. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm almost 40, so I guess I'm there, you know. Hateful teenage monsters. <laughs> Roasting with you. Yep. It's going to be fun. Just don't ever walk outside. And don't be stupid like me, where, like, sometimes in the summertime, I'll go out without socks or shoes on, and my feet are scolding on fire because I touched the ground for a second. No, I still do TikTok. Um, I'm taking a few days off from TikTok because both of my pages are on thin ice now. They're about to be banned, so I'm going to be focusing on YouTube for the next little bit of time. <laughs> because TikTok, I just never know. Just never know when I can, what I can post, when, how. <sighs> I just don't know anymore. That app is such a cluster F that I can't even, I can't figure it out. This elderly lady needs to go to bed. <laughs> I'm sure you're not elderly. I'm elderly, 39 years elderly. YouTube pays way better anyways. Sometimes. <laughs> if they ban you, do they have to pay you anything? Yeah, whatever I've earned up until the, the day they ban me, yeah, they pay you, they still pay you. You work outside and you live in Arizona, that's like, that's, that's awful. You're 51? Psh, it's nothing. 45 in a week? That's nothing. 48? Nothing. You threw your back out sneezing? I can, I can relate to that. <laughs> I can absolutely relate to that. Hi, Christy. Oh, you have the shirt too? Nice. It'll be 39 in six days. Well, hey, happy early birthday, Jack the Lego Maniac. Your ex-wife is a landscaper. Nice. I am I'm a new landscaper. <laughs> I have grown grass in my backyard in Arizona. So yeah. I did it. But now it's probably gonna start dying because the sun. The the boiling lava sun. She would come home so through, I can imagine, especially in Arizona. <laughs> Oh, I do. I'm watering it every day. I water the grass twice a day. I'm trying to keep it alive for as long as possible because it's nice having green. Green. It's just nice having green anything in Arizona, you know? <laughs> I want to grow artificial grass. Wait, you're currently a crossing guard? At least it's not all day long right? Bermuda grass. Yeah. So the first grass I grew, it was not Bermuda. I probably should have done Bermuda from the get go, but I didn't. Uh, but I have recently added Bermuda seed to the lawn. We already have Bermuda grass back there, but I, for some reason it just never kept growing back in, but I'm just, I'm just winging it. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just saying, saying what it does. But yeah, Bermuda is definitely way better for Arizona. I think what I grew back there right now was more of a winter grass, winter spring grass, but Arizona, we don't, we just have winter than summer. 
I went from San Diego to Arizona with a rock yard and then back to San Diego. Well, hey, that's from, that's my, that's, I lived in San Diego. That's where I was born. Well, Escondido. And now I live in Arizona. I'm from the Gulf Coast and it's like a jungle where I am. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I can imagine. Probably all muggy, right? Muggy and humid. I will say that's kind of nice about one of the, the nice things about our weather here in Arizona is that we don't really have a lot of humidity. Use a hard rake at the beginning of every summer to pull up the compacted grass. Oh, okay. Okay, I can remember that. I any tips any tips are, are welcomed because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Wild animal. Yep, I've been to the wild animal park. We used to have like when I was a when I was a kid, we used to have like season passes to like Sea World, and we took uh, field trips. I remember in school back when they actually did field trips. I think they do them again now, but we went to the wild animal park in the San Diego Zoo several times. It will stop. It will stop it growing if you don't rake it. It will stop growing if I don't rake at the end of the summer. I have a rake. Yeah. And I have a little tiller machine thing. So we generally get enough breeze to keep from dying in ice. Okay, that's always good. My sister lives just 25 miles away, but inland, and it's always hotter and more humid at her place. Ugh, I hate humidity so much. I guess that was sort of the downside to, like, there's not really a downside to San Diego, but the humidity always sucks. I hated it. Did you go to Julian Pass, Ramona? Um, no. I don't think I know what that is. What am I doing? I have no idea. Okay, that's great. Neat. Oh, pardon moi. I just realized this is probably going to automatically post to my videos when I'm done with it. And there's like a super awkward like first five minutes where I was just doing nothing. So if you're watching this, I do apologize. <laughs> if you're watching this after. San Diego Zoo when you were 10. Nice. At least everyone in Arizona has place has misters. I had misters in my backyard in my old house. Uh, but it made the, I think, I don't think I did them right. Because it made like the whole patio like cool. Felt great to be, you know, the mist, but then it made the whole ground be slippery and deadly. I would have covered my own case. Freak accident. Slipped on mist juice. Broken neck. Favorite YouTubers? Um, I, so for like the true crime world, I would say like JCS is my favorite. I like that chapter as well. Mr. Ballin. Um... But overall, I think the ones that I probably watch more than anyone is like Daz, Daz Game or yeah, Daz Games or Cody Co. Just because I usually go to YouTube for videos to like laugh, you know. And so I'll I don't I don't typically like to watch much much of sad stuff like true crime and whatnot. So Daz Games or Cody Co. usually gets me to laugh. You had a puppy, nice. A Velocir oh God, a Velociraptor puppy. That's not good. <laughs> how do I, yeah, I don't know how I cope with all these dogs either. So. Just Thought Lounge. I don't know who that is. All the houses I went to, a pool is a must. The cooking cookie in the car is wild. 
Yeah, I think a, a lot of people here have pools. We have a pool. 15 and a half year old retired service dog. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I've never heard of that channel before. Another good, like, uh, true crime page. I, I actually haven't watched their content in a long time because I'm not sure if they've changed or not, but uh, I do like Explore With Us. I think they kind of started to do the JCS thing once he became super popular. So I like, I did, I like them. Um, there was one other guy, I think it was, is it Fascinating Horrors? Who talks about like horrible accidents and stuff like that. I think it's called Fascinating Horror. Harry's Horror Hive. Never heard of that one either. Aw, a shelter cat to be your companion. That's cute. I don't know how my dogs would be around a cat. They probably would freak out. What are you doing? Stop it. You got it. Okay. What? Your dog loves cats? Nice. Who says that dogs and cats can't get along? Top five unknowns. Oh, God, I remember top five unknowns. Uh, they've been around for a while, I think. I used to also watch Criminally Illicit all the time, but then I got scared. <laughs> Hi, Chelsea. Thank you. Um, I... Uh, uh, criminally listed his monotone like presentation with the creepy music I don't it gives me nightmares it gives me the heebie jeebies he's really good uh, it just scares me <laughs> I don't know, it's just something about the way he talks and the way the music in the background I'm just like uh. I gotta watch it in the daytime when there's like no no killers potentially in my house <laughs> so, but he is good. He is really good. Uh, criminally listed. Just very scary. And then the other one that used to be popular, I'm not sure if he's still popular, but was um, this guy, number 15, that, whatever his name is, uh, Chills. My name is Chills. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, true crimers. <clears throat> what are we talking about? Number five, number 15. Stalking victims' families. That is weird. That is weird. Plainly difficult is a lot of industrial engineering, nuclear, etc. accidents. I haven't heard of them either. High knots. I don't think I know that person either. I don't know anyone. <laughs> YouTube is so huge. There's so many people, and it's kind of crazy that the people that you don't know exist when they're like probably hella popular. I stopped watching Chills because of how annoying his voice is. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hear you. Hello, true crimers. Ty Knotts is top five unknown. Oh, he had, okay. He had the, he also has kind of a, not an annoying voice, but he has like this sort of like a, a distinctive type voice, if I remember correctly. Number five, like that guy, right? Number five, number four. Chills makes you cringe. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to watch. <laughs> Sometimes it's just the voice. I can't do it. I can't do that for like 20 minutes consecutively. It's got to be like a couple, like I'll, I'll watch the 15. I'll watch the 15th one. Then I got to go away. Then I'll come back later to watch number 14.
Number 14, Burger King foot lettuce. This is the case of making a true crimer. Viewer discretion is advised. Who do you like? I really like hers. Who's that? 23 people, but only nine. How does that work? This isn't like TikTok where you can like tap the screen. I don't know how this works. Summer Sanchez. Who's that? A lot of longer stuff covering cults and whatnot. Oh, okay. I didn't, yeah, I never even pay attention to that. Are you live on YouTube? Mm-hmm. Does it give you the option to thumbs down? Thumbs up or thumb off. Whoa, that sounds, that sounds weird. I don't know what, does that even do anything? What does that accomplish anything? Oh, hey, you're welcome, Chelsea. It's okay to be off topic. Hitting the thumbs up shows that people like your video and pushes algorithms. Oh, okay. Well, I just like, I know on TikTok when you, uh, on TikTok, you're always like, smash that, smash your screen, and you're always like hitting it 3,000 times. Like, bash your screen, punch your screen a thousand times. Oh, there is a thumbs down? <laughs> that just seems rude. <laughs> it doesn't show me that, though. I only see the 24 people and then the 20 thumbs ups. That's all I can see. <laughs> Even thumbs down shows engagement with your channel. Oh, okay. Well then bring on the haters. That's fine too. Hey, look, it's matched 21, 21 now. Neat. This is weird because like on, you know, like on TikTok, you'll have like probably an average of like, I'll have like an over a hundred people or so. But like, I don't think most of them are even aware they're like on my, on my life. <laughs> I mentioned plainly difficult. You might like that if you like topics because you said you like some humor involved. Yeah, okay. Plainly difficult. I haven't heard them either. Bring on the haters. Give me a thumbs down, haters. Hater, 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 haters. That was a weird way to say it. I don't understand thumbs down. Nobody has to watch. I always, like, I wondered that too. I think that's more for, like, YouTube and TikTok to know what that person doesn't like. I think. Because it doesn't do anything for the creator. Like, showing us the thumbs down. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, there's more likes than there are people now. Neat. A view is a view. That is true. A view is a view. That is true. I don't know about you, but I eat poo. Nope, that's not true at all. That was a... Oops. <laughs> I just wanted to rhyme something, and I just rhymed the stupidest word. Wait, where is the thumbs up? Like on here? I'm terrible with this stuff. I have no idea, actually. I don't know where it's located, like on your screen. All I can see is, I can see my stats up here. I don't even know if you can see this. Like for me, I'm seeing a bookmark button, a plus sign, a little shopping bag, three dots, and then I have a little calendar looking thing, a microphone, filters, and what, oh, that probably reverses the camera. Three dots in the top. So you guys have three dots up there? I don't got no dots. I got no dots up there. X out of comments, it's below the video.
three dots on top right. Wait, this. <laughs> Thanks, people, in the comments. What does the hearts do, if anything? There's hearts as well. I don't think I've seen any hearts. What does a heart do? Can I do anything? Can I see stats or anything like that? No, I don't. What is this? I'm pressing buttons. Start a pull. Oops. <laughs> I don't. I can start a pole, but I don't know what kind of pole. Not a dancing one. Or a strip one. Is somebody panting? Yeah, that's Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. He's always so active. He's always panting because he's always like moving around. You have hearts and smiley faces. Oh, and 100. Oh, I can see the hearts down here. They're floating. Down here, we all float. I don't know what those do. Is that just for funsies or what? What is that? Oh, it's a little uh, heart. I don't know. A little heart in the hands. Heart hands. Someone's holding a heart with eyes. That heart has eyeballs in a mouth. not a healthy heart. It's got holes in it. Oh, I see a little smiley face and a hundred. Oh, and a little thing. What's that thing called? A celebration thing? Heart. I can do the TikTok thing. Woohoo, heart. Woohoo, heart. Pretend like I'm a AI robot thing like they do. Whoa, what is that guy? Is that a, is that a dragon? Or is that a goat? <laughs> that's a, it's a yellow, a yellow, a yellow man who's flipping me off, I think. Is that a middle finger? <laughs> There's a cat in a box. There is a monkey doing construction work. There is a guy and very surprised looking fish. What is that yellow man doing? Looks like he's, or is that a thumbs up? Can't tell. Oh, I see. Okay, it is a thumbs up. I had to look a little bit closer. From afar, it looks like that yellow man was flipping me off with the little... And it was shooting grease, green sparks. What is that one? Is that touching elbows? Is that tapping bows? What's that? Oh, it has green nails. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, it's so teeny tiny on here. I can't see anything. That is a sleepy flower? Sleepy plant? Is that yellow man doing the, the dab? That's expired, yellow man. People don't dab anymore. Is this supposed to be hand sanitizer? It looks like Purell, so yeah. What is that thing? That's a... Is that a, a llama? <laughs> I gotta uh, put on the fake glasses to see. I don't... See, I can't see what that is. Looks like a some sort of creature with blue thump something coming out of its head. I don't even... I don't know. And there's a, a heart thing. Or it's, or it's holy water. Uh-oh. 
This is an exorcism. I was not prepared for an exorcism. Was not. It's an otter. Right, that's what that's the next animal I was definitely gonna guess. Not what did I say? A llama? An otter would have been obviously. It was testing you. Uh, <laughs> that is a glass half empty. I like the monkey man doing some construction work. And I'm not sure what he's building, but he's building something. We're putting that monkey to work. He's building stuff for us. Good. It's about time these monkeys do things with their lives. Going bananas over these people. Or half full. Nah, I'm a half empty kind of guy. <laughs> That's me. Half empty. What's the voice? I don't know. And yet I still keep doing it. Uh, ah. Ruth Ann, you're freaking out. You're, you're, you're screamy crying. You're, you're very disformed with a crybaby eyes. Cry face, cry face, cry baby, cry, cry baby guy thing face. I'm very uncomfortable and awkward. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, okay, so I'm actually gonna hop off now because my back is effing killing me right now and uh yeah so i think the next time i go live on here i'm going to probably put an else like i'll announce it i guess i'll post it or something i don't know but i will i'll let you all i'll let you all know ahead of time that i'm actually going live again so yeah so anyway i hope everyone has a wonderful night thanks for joining for this little hour of uh, entertainment and uh yeah I shall see you guys later. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah.